What's up, YouTube? So today we are going to attempt to fix a broken or cracked, I should say, oil pan on a 2011 Ford Focus. So you can see the crack is not that big, but it's big enough that it let out every drop of oil overnight, stained the shit out of my driveway. I didn't even know it was cracked. We did hit a speed bump Saturday night at, you know, pretty quick, going pretty fast. It wasn't until the next morning when we realized that that shit was broken. Everything was on the driveway. So we're gonna be using uh, JB Weld steel stick. Sorry, made a mess. For the first, I guess you could say coat, I'm gonna use this to stuff it into the crack after this dries. I will be using the original formula JB Weld. Should be the best one. You don't want to use that quick weld shit because um, I've seen some videos on YouTube and quite frankly, I don't think it works as good. This is the old original shit, so should work. First things first, we are going to prep and clean the surface with OxyClean Miracle Foam. Just some water, mix it in a little cup. I made this out of a water bottle. Okay, I have this like steel, I mean wire brush type of attachment for my drill. So you know, just gonna dump it in there, clean the surface, get it nice and clean. You can't expect for this shit to work if it's not clean. So here we go. You want to get it pretty clean. I don't really think it'll stick if it's not. I'm gonna go get another rag. So first we're gonna put the steel stick. We're gonna put this into the crack directly. Let it dry. Then we'll come back and put this on there. Okay, so the instructions for the steel stick are pretty fucking simple. You take out the desired amount. You knead it around in your fingers, whatever you wanna call it, massage it, fucking mix the damn shit, All right? You apply it to where you want it and you let it dry. Easy money. I got my desired amount. By the way, I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to take any fucking chances with this shit. I don't really know what it's made of. So let's just mix it around, massage it. You know, call it what you will. Okay. Here we are, at this nice, dark, fucking gray color. Gonna give it one more wipe, just to be fucking sure. Once again, this is the crack. Probably shouldn't be touching my phone with this shit on my hand, but YOLO. Here we go. Nice little clean. All right. Okay, so as you can see, I finished the uh, first, I guess you would say coat, with the uh, quick steel. I am leaving this shit a bit rough. You don't wanna leave it super smooth because I'm afraid that the JB Weld might not stick to it. So I am leaving it a bit rough. You know, just kind of rubbing my fingers through it, making sure it's got like a rough surface. You know, just trying to maximize my efforts here, guys. I know it's not the right, fucking repair to do but 
considering the fact that I only wasted 20 fucking dollars in materials, I think it's worth a fucking shot. You know what I mean? So we're gonna let this shit dry and we will come back in about an hour and put the real shit over it. Fucking rip my glove. By the way, guys, this smells like complete shit. Smells like shit. It's bad for your skin and it smells like shit. Okay guys, the time has come. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes. Seems to have dried quite nicely. I don't see any oil coming out. Not that there was much in there, but I guess that's a good sign. So, you know, everything's nice and clean. It's dried. It's time to mix these two tubes up. This little piece of cardboard right here, nothing fancy. I'm gonna use a two inch brush to mix it and apply it. If you don't have a two inch brush, just use a stick or your fingers, I don't know, something. There is our 50-50. I didn't measure it, I just eyeballed it. I don't think it's rocket science. This is what it should look like once it's mixed. Nice and thick. Yep, let's get to it. All right guys, so this is the initial finished product. As you can see, I used almost all of the material. It's not much left. Just a little bit. I might just apply it tomorrow. Finish it off, might as well. I did start off with the uh, two inch brush, as I mentioned, but um, didn't quite work out in my favor. So I ended up just grabbing a plastic glove and I applied it with my fingers. I feel it was a, a better way to do it. I did leave it the most thick where the initial crack is at and I just kind of fanned it out all over the place. Nice solid patch, I would say. So um, I will be posting an update video in about two weeks to see how how it's going and then um, another one in about a year or two so we could really see the uh, longevity of the JB Weld. And yes, it's fucking raining in California. In March um, so yeah so next time guys I hope this video helps some of you guys save a couple hundred bucks maybe a thousand bucks you know it's worth a shot like I said for 20 bucks I mean come on fuck it and then if it doesn't work well then I'll just buy a new freaking oil pan you know but till then guys peace out all right guys so it's been about five months four months somewhere around those lines as you can see, I mean, um, it's holding up pretty damn good. There are no leaks anywhere. This is my wife's car. She drives about 50 miles a day, 60 miles a day, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty damn impressed. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit skeptical, but like I said, um, I feel like I took every step that I possibly could. Um, I cleaned the hell out of it, you know. I applied two coats and um, yeah, I mean, I got everything for about 20 bucks. So it's definitely worth a shot, guys.